April 5th, 2022, and this video is called TEPCO Live Cam at Fukushima Has Been Changed. And I wonder why. Now, this is the uh, a shot of the camera that was on January 16th. This is Unit 4, right over here. This is 3, this is 2, and this is 1. Now, this is the first time ever that the camera angle has been changed. I don't think this is because of the wind's blowing. Now, this is number five, and this is unit six. Now, as you can see, they cut the ca camera off, so you cannot see unit four anymore. This cutoff angle right here would be right here. This is all this shows from here over. It's missing this the the unit four on the on the new um repositioning so i wonder why they're doing this i mean did something happen to unit four and uh they're working on it like they open this up and they do not want us to see like what is inside here that's just a guess I just find it strange that in the years and years and years that this camera has been on, that now the camera angle has been deliberately moved to exclude Unit 4, when if you see, this is what it says. It's the site of Unit 4 of Fukushima, the nuclear power station. So what's going on, I have no idea, but since TEPCO can't be trusted... I have a feeling that possibly something happened over there. I just find it interesting that we never seen Unit 5 and 6. So that's just an update. We'll see how long this camera angle is left up and if it actually does go back to the way it always was. I just find it kind of suspicious that um, when they talk about the image of unit 4 on the live camera and unit 4 is not even included in, in it anymore so it's actually unit 3 2 and 1 unit 4 is gone so I have a feeling something's going on over there and only the Japanese know because uh, they're the only ones that really know what's happening over there and I have a feeling that it's a typical textbook example of a cover up